Hello and welcome to another edition of Game On Magazine's uh, workouts where uh, I attach a video workout to a company and a written article in Game On Magazine. This one is for the article, You Too Can Have the Power, which is all about uh, an introduction to power training. So for the workout in there, exercise A1 was a mini band drop squat. Mini band is gonna be just above our knees. Feet are underneath our hips. We're gonna get up on the balls of our feet. Fully extend our hands over our head. We're gonna hold for a second, then we're gonna actively pull ourselves down to the ground as fast as we can, driving those knees out. We're gonna hold that nice athletic position for a second, come back out of it. So again, feet under the hips, extend overhead, actively pull down to a good athletic position, okay? Forcing those knees out. Uh, exercise number two in that sequence. We're gonna be Grabbing an exercise band, we're going to loop it around a post or a rack or something that won't move on us. We're going to step in through the band. So the band's around the back of our waist. Okay, so it's pulling us forward a bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to step out in front of us. It's going to pull us forward, so we're going to step into a forward lunge position. It's going to pull us forward quickly. We want to catch and control that deceleration, so slowly lower down come back up to the starting point. We'll alternate feet each time. So it's gonna pulse forward quick, catch, slowly decelerate that, okay? Again, pull forward quick, catch, slowly decelerate. All right? And then the third exercise in this sequence, the single leg altitude landings. We're standing on a low box, only has to be about 12 inches to start. We're stepping off, so we're not gonna jump off. I'm stepping off with my left foot. I'm gonna land on my left leg. Nice, balanced, athletic position. We wanna control that knee, keep it over top of the foot. And I should feel balanced in a position. I could do anything from here. I can move laterally to the side. I can jump straight up. I can power out forward in a linear sprint, okay? And every rep again too, we're just gonna alter, uh, alternate which side. So now I step off with my right foot. It's just a step off, landing in a good athletic position. If I tend to, uh, Lose my balance like that, don't walk away from the rep. Okay, fight to gain control again. Hold it, stick for a good second, then go back to the box and go again on the other side. Okay? For the Bs, uh, we have two exercises. The med ball cradle toss. We're gonna start with the med ball. Pretty light, depending on your uh, strength base, but probably only wear anywhere from about six to 12 pounds. We're going to start in that same position we did on the mini band drop squat. Okay, now we have the ball overhead. We're going to actively pull ourselves down to the ground quickly and then explode back up, throwing that ball for height, catching it off one bounce. So we're not throwing with our arms. Arms are just guiding the ball. It's going to be all through our explosive hip extension, which is dropping down and then ex extending forcefully through the hips. So from the side, here it is. Okay, exercise B2. We have our shader bounding, so we just need a little bit of space to go straight forward here. We're just doing diagonal bounds, single legs, so we're gonna make sure we get our balance on that leg, explode out, so we're not almost jumping on 45 degree angles going down. So we're gaining width and distance a little bit with each jump, okay? For the last pairings, uh, exercise C1, we have a pause box squat, so we'll have our box. This is what we talked about from starting rate of force development from a static position. So we're going to squat down, we're going to hold this position, and then uh, preferably on someone's verbal cue, they'll give you a go or a jump cue, then you'll explode up on top of the box, land and come to a complete standing position on the box. So again, I'm going to load, Hold it. When I hear the go call, explode out onto the box. Okay, and the uh, last exercise in this sequence uh, is a single leg lateral jump with counter movement. So again, we need a little bit of space to move laterally. What we're gonna do, we're gonna load up our one leg. We're gonna jump laterally out to the side as far as we can. We're gonna stick that landing. Then there's gonna be a little counter movement back where we load that leg and then explode out quick again, okay? So we really want to stick that landing on the one leg. The counter movement, we want to happen quick. 
take advantage of that plyometric effect. So it's a quick hop back, explode out. Stick the landing, hold, quick hop back, explode out. Of course, we'll do the reps on both sides. Power uh, is a very large um, um, progression in our training that has a lot of different movements, progressions, exercises, and skills, but this is a very good place to start.